What makes this lure so special besides the fact that it's almost over 100 years old and it costs $1,200? This is a lot of detail for a lure back in the 20s and 30s. This is an incredible amount. This is more realistic looking than most of the lures, antique lures, that you see. In fact, check this out. Get some of that dust off it. I just opened this up to a random page. What the heck is that? And what is that? Or that? Like, they're just funky. They're crazy looking. They don't, okay, that looks like a normal lure. That one kind of, that one, yeah, okay. That's actually pretty cool. But for the most part, antique lures, regardless of where you look in an antique lure book, are just flat out, those are pretty cool, ridiculous looking. It was carved by a gentleman named Fred Flood. He lived in Frostproof, Florida. Now he carved these out of cypress wood that he got from orange crates. So today I'm gonna replicate one. All right, here's a piece of cypress. So watch this. Boom! I'm going to carefully trace this almost 100 year old lure onto this piece of cypress. I want to go ahead and read this. How to use the Florida Shiner. So I'm going to carefully pull this out. Check that out. That's like sun scorched. I don't even know what you'd call that. Just brittle and wants to break apart. But let's go ahead and read this. How to use the Florida Shiner. This minnow is attached on the side and retrieves in a circular, circular direction. And when cast in a long shoreline or grass or bonnet, cast your minnow five to 10 feet from where you want the bait to advance or approach. By doing this, you won't likely frighten the fish and your minnow will approach in a live-like position. It is very necessary that you reel your minnow slowly and occasionally jerk short jerks. If you are aware the fish are striking rapidly, you can fish more rapid or in rough water you can work it lively. If you care to make your minnow dive and turn over, move your screw eye more toward the head. But do this, but to do this would be necessary to use a swivel on the minnow or on the line. It is very alluring when diving and turning over rapidly and draws the fish to the surface and recommend this kind of fishing, especially fishing in 10 or feet, 10 or more feet of water. The large size are equipped on each side for both kinds of fishing. As above mentioned, this bait can be used with great results on a reed pole with long line as it can be made to resemble the action of a captured shiner. Any bait depends largely on the person using them. And the more you use the Florida shiner, the more you will want to use them. They are the only minnow attached from the side, which offers several advantages. The fish are not apt to see the line and the traveling direction in which it travels covers more territory. And another feature, it won't get lodged in the grass if pulled gently. It straddles the grass or other obstacles in this, if this minnow is headed towards some obstacle and you care to avoid, raise your pulp causing this minnow to glide over the water toward you. Made by FLB Flood, Frostproof, Florida. Dang, we're just layering it up, adding some more, some more coats. Purpley brown that goes up there on the head. So I'm gonna take some brown, a little bit of red, and I'm gonna need some blue. Gonna go ahead and paint the fins. 
same color. Finally figured out that color on the belly and it's kind of this flesh tone. So I went ahead and I mixed up yellow and white. And I thought this looked good, but now I don't think it looks good. <laughs> I'm gonna change it. Here we go. Let's go ahead and add those little gold spots now. So I need a small brush to do so. And we're just gonna kind of dab, but it only stays up top here. Just dab up top and the green in the back. Here we go. Got all the little dibbles and dots on it. That was a lot more time consuming than I expected. So let's go ahead and do some red gills. A little red up in cheer. Some lipstick and then the yellow eye. Because the eye is yellow, I'm going to first use white and then come back with yellow. See, if I would have went just straight to yellow, it wouldn't have showed up like that. Dab will do you. All right, check this out. All right, headed over to the epoxy rotisserie wheel. I'm gonna throw up this little Fred Flood on there, give it a good old coat of epoxy. Now, that isn't the way Mr. Flood would have done it, but I wanna preserve this lure, I wanna be able to use it. So, and I'm not saying that I couldn't use it just the way it is, or with like a coat of varnish or something on it, but I'm saying I wanna put it in the tackle box and use it from here on, you know, for a while. Epoxy's one to one. As always, mix that up real good. All right, let's throw some epoxy on this lure, get a rotisserie. Let's put some hooks on it. Gonna go throw it, test it in the lake. I'm running low on hooks. Check out that. Mess pile. Naturally, I want a very small drill bit to do this. All right, check it. We're gonna see if I can tap that down. Clip off this long piece of wire. Okay, I mean, it, it kind of works. It's not like perfect, it works. I'm not really hitting it hard, I'm just barely hitting a little taparoo, a little tappy poo. One last thing to do. I gotta put that eye screw in the other side. Look at how clean those little hammer pins are. Oh, I didn't even see what I did to that eye. Son of a gun. Oh well. I'm excited to try this lure out. Check it out. Got a little action camera too, put on my head. I'm going to, you're gonna be able to see what I see. I'm gonna show you. It does not really have a whole lot of action on one side. Okay, actually yeah it does. It kind of like paddles, that's cool. That's on the side, which is better, but it's pretty much hooked in the middle. actually makes pretty cool uh, pretty cool movement I'm gonna cast it a couple times like this a 
from the side tie and then I'll move it over to this more forward tie and see how it runs. And it actually sinks. I put like no lead in it. But it makes a great jerk bait too. I can't believe it sinks. Wow, that actually is really cool. That wake's so nice. I'm reeling it real slow. Gotta go fishing. Only got so much time left. Let's go. See if we get anything here. This is definitely a hard bait to fish with when you're sitting down. And try it back in here. Trying to fish in areas not real close to people's houses because some dude comes by with a camera filming. I freak people out. I'm okay running from a dog, I ain't okay running from a bullet. Alright, get some cast going here. High tailing it. Got like a, a little over a quarter mile walk. Good little workout. Sun's going down fast though. Only got about an hour, maybe an hour and a half to fish. Tons of bait in here. Huh? You want sheep's head? Winter, winter, sheep's head for dinner. Didn't catch anything on the flood, but you got a measuring stick. See you later, buddy. Nice sheep's head, though. Unexpected, delicious eating. goes right behind them. Oh, 
Got something here. You gotta be kidding me. It's a bunch of snook. That's a black drum. Well, they gotta be 14. Gotta, these are all muddy. Check this out. I got a black drum, snook, two nice snook and a big, great big mullet. We're gonna let these snook go real fast. Hold on guys. <laughs> Going the wrong way. This way. Nice snook. I mean not real nice, but nice little cool little snook. Go ahead. Got a keeper? Yeah, let's keep them. Let's eat them. Fresh fish for dinner. Let's keep that mullet too. The camera died, my head camera, so we're just out here throwing the net, trying to get some dinner. Real quick. Got a mullet. A black drum. Nice black drum, they gotta be 14. He's 14 and a half. And take him home. Hey y'all, so it's been a couple days since uh, filming Fred Flood uh, video. Went on vacation, had a good time. So getting back to lure making, getting back to decoy making, getting back to carbon overall. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Put a lot of time in trying to catch something on it. Unfortunately, it just seems like nothing's really hitting artificial bait right now. So hoping, That'll change here soon. Water temperature's heating up. Fish are starting to be more active. Uh, I just did a, actually just went spear fishing. It's supposed to be just be molten netting, but I'm gonna be posting that video soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you in the next one. See y'all.